y'all set to achieve welcome to yet another video um hi if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the video share and um you know today i'm talking about narcissistic abuse and you know what happens to you physically when you are um you know you are in physical proximity to the narcissist please if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe like the video share and leave your comments okay um so the title of the video of today is um, your body will tell you, okay? So the signs are actually in your body. It's in your body, all right? So um, if you're new to me, I suffered from narcissistic abuse basically all my life um, from, you know, from the hands of parents, typically, um, specifically my mother. Um, she's a, a, a textbook narcissist. And then um, because of the, the wounds that I had, I ended up um, getting married to a narcissist. And um, so... Um, that is my story okay so now looking back right now I have been almost a year and a half it'll be um, exactly a year and six months that I've been separated by the glory of God um, I tell everybody um, and I say it anytime that if not for the grace of God and of Christ I will not have been separated now and um, and I'm in the process of processing my divorce I actually filed um, a year and a half you know Basically, the time that I separated, I had filed, um, but I, I wanted us to be, have been separated for some time, um, give it at least a year and a half, you know, so we can kind of find our bearings and financially and, you know, kind of stabilize, you know, um, some before I finally went ahead and, you know, and um, submitted or, you know, had a sign or whatever and everything. But I had all the paperwork together, okay, because I knew enough was enough, okay. And um, by the way, I actually have found somebody else. Um, you know, he knows the scenario and, um, but that aside, when you are going through, um, narcissistic abuse, you're, there's going to be telltale signs in your body because this is not only a spiritual or psychological attack on the very core of you, who you are. This is a physical attack. Okay. This is a physical attack. Okay. Because the the constant ups and downs in your emotions, your mind, the constant confusion, you know, because one thing that you have to realize is that your mind controls your entire body. Okay. You have to think it first, you know, before your mind knows to, even though you, it, it seems like it kind of flows that, that way, you, you kind of, you, you think it, it processes through your mind before you know, okay, let me lift this cup or let me um, walk or let me talk or let me brush my teeth, you know, so there's a mind body connection. Okay. All right. So now when you're going through constant psychological, spiritual warfare, and by the way, you're dealing with empty meat suits, people that have no regard for, for you, you know, um, you know, they don't appreciate you. They don't even really see you as human. They just see you as supply. Somebody that was, you know, able to, you know, um, help me to get my foot forward. Okay. You're just somebody that helped them to get their foot forward. You're someone that helped them to look normal. Okay. So that's all they see you as, you know, and it's important to just understand that, that that is just what it is, okay? So when you understand the depth of, of this and you, um, you know, you're, well, first and foremost, we know the stages of narcissistic, narcissistic abuse, you know, first there's a love bombing, all these nice words and, you know, and, you know, um, showing you um, that they care, you know, with, um, paying attention to your words and all those different things, future faking with you, that they're going to go to the moon with you, all lies, okay? And your body starts going through a procession, you know, a, 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 you know, your, your body actually starts physically breaking down, okay? Your, your, your body is breaking down, your mind is breaking down, the core of who you are is breaking down, okay? And you're going to see the signs of these things, right? And things like maybe frequent headaches, okay? People, everybody is different, okay? The way your, processes, your body processes the breakdown, you know, of the very core of your cells, okay, is different for each person, okay? But for myself, I noticed that I was having headaches. There was a time that I was having such terrible headaches, I had to go to the hospital. You know, they said I was dehydrated. Um, you know, they said it was this, it was that, but I, ultimately I knew it was this constant day to day, having to walk on eggshells, having to constantly be stressed about what somebody would think, you know, being uh, afraid of being put down, being told that you're not good enough, be, you know, just all that constant being gaslit each and every time, okay? So dealing with this constant fear, you know, constant stress, okay, it puts, 
a heavy burden on your system, on your immune system, okay? Because you need some form of happiness and joy. You know, the Bible says that, 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 that laughter is a medicine, you know? So when you're with these people, laughter becomes something that is scarce, okay? All right? You have a scarcity of laughter, of joy. You're always on edge. Even your children, my, I, have, I have three. They're all teenagers now, okay? My oldest is almost 18. They all went through it, okay? So remember that everything that you're going through, they're going through it too. You might be thinking that, oh, well, they're, well, they're children, you know, they're not really. Yes, they see everything, they sense everything, and they sense your pain. So they're going through warfare too, right? So going back to the physical characteristics of the pain, you know, and the, and the breakdown of your body, okay? You might start having memory loss, okay? Because you're constantly gaslit, you know? So your mind doesn't know the difference between reality and, and fakeness or, or, or um, you know, or non-reality. Let me just put it that way, okay? So when you're constantly being told that what you saw is not what you saw, when you catch them red handed doing something wrong and they tell you that, no, no, it was you, you know? You start, you know, it's like, you can't even trust your mind anymore. Maybe I'm crazy. That's what you're going to be thinking. Even though you're not. Okay? They do these things to test you. Okay? So when they're constantly pushing your boundaries, push, pushing your mind, there's many people, you know, and I'm going to say women, you know, not to say that women are not narcissists too. There are a lot of women narcissists, okay? If you, if you go on social media, you're going to hear a lot about what men have been through, okay? So this comes in different um, both sexes go through and, and both sex, both sexes can be narcissists just like both both sexes can be codependents okay but when you're constantly going through these ups and downs you know with this person it tears down your mind your brain is being attacked your physical body is being attacked and you're going down okay so your best bet is to get away from these people okay I always say you need you need healing from God you need to go to Christ go to the throne the Bible says, behold, I, you know, I stand at the door and knock, okay? If you let me in, I'm going to come in and I'm going to dine with you, okay? So God is, Christ is appealing to you today to ask him in, okay? Invite him into your life. If you're watching this video and, and you don't know Christ, say these words after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I come to you today. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Become the Lord of my life. I believe that you died on the cross for me to wash away my sins okay become the lord of my life today in jesus name amen if you say that if you say those words okay you, you're, you become a child of god okay get a bible start studying the bible okay ask the holy spirit to come in and rule over your life direct you okay he's gonna give you peace that's the first thing you're gonna get you're gonna get peace okay because that peace is what's gonna help you to start thinking your strategies of how you're gonna escape you need that peace, okay? If there's a way that you can isolate from the narcissist, isolate. Spend more time in the basement if you need to. Spend more time out, you know? If you know their schedule, if you know if they're at work at this time, be at home. If you know that, you know, whatever you need to do, okay, to get yourself back. God will give you, the Holy Spirit will give you the strategies, okay? But you need to know that all the signs that you're, you're going through with your body, you know, maybe if you're a woman, maybe your, um, your, your pH, with your periods, everything is destabilized. You, it's not consistent. It might be in the 10th on, uh, on this part of, uh, time of the month. The next month, it might be on the 27th. All, all, all over the, your pH balance, your hormones, everything is off, okay? There's people that, that I, 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 I know, you know, and I've studied and I've heard that, that they were long-term with a narcissist. A lot of them died of cancer. Okay, so this is nothing to joke about. Okay, so when you hear coaches, you know, like myself, people that have been through telling you you need to get away, you need to get away. Okay, just like my ex. Okay, I don't even know, honestly, I don't even know where I would be if I was still with him. I don't even know where I would, would be psychological. Maybe I might have been in, in the uh, uh, insane asylum, asylum at this time. Okay, but the, the guy I just newly met, you know, um, 
we're just kind of uh, getting to know each other and everything uh, but he's going through basically the same thing so, so we're basically in the same um stage trying to get out of this mess okay but found each other okay maybe th that was god's way of comforting me and helping me to fi finally push out this person okay because now i'm like okay you know what i need to finally process this divorce okay you know because it's like why should i be held back you know and, and stagnant because of this person you know because i made a mistake or and, and, and you know or because of the past i need to move forward okay so um i hope you learned something uh from this video I, i'm sure you are or you have go ahead and like subscribe share leave your comments and until next time peace